Hi, my name is Michael Nelson and this is my LEGO B24 Liberator. So the Liberator is not quite as popular as the Flying Fortress, but um, it actually could fly farther, carry more bombs, and the United States built more of them during the war. Um, but it's not quite as sexy as the B-17 and there weren't as many stories that got popular about it. Um, so this one just got finished with the other day. Uh, you don't see a lot of them in LEGO, which is why I wanted to um, build this one before I built the Flying Fortress. Um, it is motorized, but I don't have it all worked out yet, so uh, for now it's not on. Uh, special shout out to Nate Flood. He also has a B-24, and uh, without him I probably wouldn't have been able to get the motors spinning um, or have an idea. I had never even thought of that until I saw his. So, um, Otherwise, it's got a lot of good features. Um, it's got all the turrets that rotate uh, on the top and in the back. And then underneath here, the ball turret on this model is famous. It actually was retractable. And on the B-17, it was not retractable. So on here, if it got shot or stuck, they could usually winch it back up into the airplane and get the uh, ball turret gunner out. So it's glad to be able. It doesn't fit a minifig, of course, but I don't think we'll ever be able to. So. And that's the B-24. How did you decide on the, the tan color for this model? Is that, is that what they originally built in, or how did that work? Well, the tan was actually um, a rare group of these um, that flew out of Benghazi, uh, Libya. And basically, the 8th Air Force decided if they could um, stop the flow of Hitler's oil, they could end the war sooner. So there was a refinery in Romania, and they decided that they would fly from the tip of uh, North Africa over the Mediterranean and bomb that oil refinery. So this is actually from a famous group. Um, it's called the Raid on Ploesti. And they decided that instead of flying in at 20,000 feet and dropping their bombs, they were going to have to fly in low level. So these guys kind of cruised over the, uh, the refinery at 50 feet. And there's some pretty famous photos. Um, it was actually a very costly raid and mixed results on whether or not it was successful. But um, in addition to the B-24 being not getting as much love, that also is a uh, war story that isn't as well known. So that's why I chose the uh, tan color scheme. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, you kind of chose a unique episode there from the war then to, to depict this. And what other colors would these have been in? Um, originally, they started out brown and green. And then you had these, which were, in real life, they were actually light pink. Uh, desert pink was the color, I believe. Um, but tan is the closest Lego color. Um, and then by the end of the war, they were bare metal, just like uh, everything else, because at that point, the army didn't need to waste the time painting them because they controlled the skies. So. Okay. Well, thank you. That's really impressive. I appreciate it. Yep.